Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you are new. I am so excited to share today's video with you guys. We are starting on our backyard makeover. I am elated <laughs> to finally have all of the weeds out of there and I get to start on my gardens. When we bought the home, we were so enamored with the home. We didn't even pay attention to the fact that there was no sod. Obviously it was in winter and um, we just weren't paying attention to any of the landscaping. Had I known <laughs> or paid attention to that, I would have requested that they lay sod before signing on the dotted line. But unfortunately, we did not notice that. That is just something that comes with buying a brand new home. Things get overlooked. <laughs> we had had several people come out and give us quotes on all the different things. I finally got tired of doing that and I said, you know, let me just get one person to come out and give me a quote on everything that we want done in the backyard and see what that is. And that total came in at $53,000. <laughs> That's a lot of money. Now, we don't have pets and we don't have small children at home, so we don't really have to worry too much about a fence perimeter, other than the fact that we have bunnies. <laughs> Um, we don't have deer in the neighborhood, or at least up until now, people have said they haven't seen deer. So, you know, this year that could change. We certainly have deer and deer season all around us. Um, just nobody here has ever seen one in the neighborhood. So um, I'm not super concerned about deer either. Um, if that becomes an issue in the future, of course, we'll take care of that. But for now, I just needed to have a fresh lawn and some privacy between us and the neighbors. And you can see that, um, you know, I have no, no privacy at all between me and my bath neighbors. I'm not opposed to that. Um, here in Tennessee or here in the South, um, it's very common. Everybody knows everybody. We talk to each other over the fences. We talk to each other on the front porches. Um, you know, so I'm not, it's not like I'm trying to shut out my neighbors. So um, I'm not really into that. I'm also not really into the white vinyl fences at all. I don't like the look of them. And to be honest with you, they blow over in windstorms and we have windstorms here. The last one that came through several of the people's fences um, down the row here had panels that just blew down. So I uh, had been looking into the wrought iron fence like my neighbor behind me, um, you know, just so that I could put a bunny barrier um, on that. And I just like the aesthetics of it. So I really had to sit down with Ernie and we really needed to talk about our wants and our needs for the backyard. So the $53,000 included a perimeter fence with three gates, one on either side and one to the back, because our property line goes all the way down into the ravine, we have to maintain that. And um, so I just thought it would be easier to have a fence back or a gate back there so that Ernie had a way and I had a way to get back there and maintain that, um, that part of our property. Um, so it included that, it included sod, it included a um, paver patio with like a bonfire pit um, and a little pad that we could put like a little outdoor kitchen on, um, like a barbecue and that kind of thing, and a screened in porch. I'm trying to think, oh, and a retaining wall. Ernie wanted to level the yard out and put a retaining wall um, still so that, you know, the water drained away from our house and into the ravine where it's supposed to go, um, or the culverts is what they call them here. Um, and, um, but we would have, you know, what looked to be, it would be more leveled in the backyard. So a lot of work to be done in that $53,000, but it's just not in our budget to spend that kind of money. So what we did was sat down and we thought, what do we need really? And how much time are we gonna be spending in the backyard, honestly? So uh, 
once we, you know, kind of talked about that, the $53,000 bid just kind of went out the window. It just wasn't something that we were willing to spend um, because, like I said, we don't have small children, we don't have pets, and we don't think that we're going to be spending that kind of time in the backyard. So we just threw that right out the window. The um, then I decided to piecework everything out and I said, well, I'm going to get somebody to come do the fence and I'm going to get somebody to come do the sod. And it was just this whole thing, <laughs> um, you know, of having these people come over and, you know, and everybody had the same amount of sod, and, but everybody had say, four pallets of sod, but everybody had a different price for that. So uh, who could I trust? That was, you know, something that I, you know, we don't know anybody here. Um, we don't know contractors here and we, you know, were, it was a concerning thing, you know? And so, um, I was scrolling on Facebook marketplace one day and I saw sod. And so I reached out to his name is Brandon and he came out. Um, he is just the sweetest kid. He came out and he measured, you know, and, um, just super polite and honest. And, uh, he gave me the best price I think for, um, trees in the backyard and sod. And so we decided to go with the, um, I think they're the, Ernie always calls them the arthritis trees, but they are the ar arboritis, I think. I'm not sure. They're like the cone shaped um, trees. Um, and we're going to do 17 across the back to give us immediate privacy. And he said they're seven feet tall. So they grow about a foot a year. I did my homework on them. They grow about a foot a year in height. Um, and so that is super encouraging and super exciting. And I plan on creating so many garden beds back there. My goal for this property is to have a minimal amount of grass and mostly gardens. Um, and it's going to take a while to get there. So um, spring and fall are when you do your gardening here <laughs> because I have found that on the humid days it's almost impossible. And we haven't even hit the real humid weather yet. We've had a couple of pretty pretty strong humidity type days, but, um, and I could imagine, you know, doing your, your gardening and that would be miserable. So, um, some of my gardens may have to wait until fall. Um, if, and you know, I may be able to sneak days here and there to get those gardens, you know, to come to life. And, um, I plan on putting, um, arbors on both sides of the house leading into the garden, which is what I'm going to be creating. And you might be saying, well, why are you putting so much sod down? Well, because I don't know when <laughs> I'm going to get to the gardens. And, um, I really, I have it kind of drawn out. I'm no professional, <laughs> but I have drawn out my, um, my design idea. And this is the back of the property. These are my very sophisticated 17 trees that are going to be going in. And you can see that I have a garden drawn in front of it. And then to the side, um, I plan on putting an arbor there um, with uh, like some sort of climbing vine or rose to go on it, um, leading out to where the culvert is. And that will be Ernie's kind of gate to go out um, to take care of that part of our property. And then I have other, um, you can see other gardens planned all the way around. And then of course we have our existing patio. This is the air conditioning garden that is kind of already there. I'm just going to extend it all the way to over to the um, garden or to the patio. And then another one on the other side. My hopes is to create gardens within, <laughs> within this area as well. I would love to have a rose garden um, in the center and you know, little rooms in the garden. So that is something that I will be working on. Um, for a while and I will be you know taking you guys along with me as I do that and um, yeah so 
we got Brandon to come out and he is getting rid of all the weeds and digging all that up and laying a fresh bed of sod and planting those trees. And then once we get that done, then I can concentrate on some privacy in on the patio. The patio is a decent size for us. We can easily fit a small dining table to seat four or six and a little lounge area in there. Um, to sit and relax. It's very easy to do that in that space. Ernie and I will create a little paver patio off of that to um, house a barbecue. Um, I plan on putting a privacy shade down the back of it to um, block out the window um, of my neighbors. Um, but I also am going to be extending the fence. I'm hoping to find like an antique style fence to put there. It's kind of, um, uh, once we get into it, I will, you know, do a walk around with you guys and give you, you know, once he's all done and all complete, I'll definitely take you guys out there and walk it and let you guys, you know, give you guys an idea. But um, I, I want to create entrances into my garden and, um, I want to create rooms in my garden. Um, anyways, but we are so excited to get started on this project. It's not going to be all done in one. I, you know, wish that we had the money um, and the time to do that, but we don't. <laughs> so um, it's going to be done a little bit at a time and we will take you guys along with us for as much of the project as we can. I'm gonna squeeze as much as I can into this video. I have been talking long enough. Let's go ahead and get into the fun stuff.
Okay, they are done for the day. They got the grass area all sodded, or all sodded. <laughs> they got the sod area all graded. So it looks really good. And they got all the trees planted. Let me walk over here. So they got them all planted, nice row. So I thought I would take the time right now to tell you guys exactly what my plans are for the backyard. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let them sod everything um, because I don't know how long it's gonna take me to get these gardens going. But, um, so let's start over here. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do, starting right here, some sort of an arbor or a arbor right here and then some sort of a green fence right here so you walk through into the garden probably add like stepping stones in here and then from here all the way over there is going to be a garden it'll be like a wavy 
a wavy garden. And I'll have the same mow strip installed in all of these gardens that I did in the front. So that's that. And then this will all be grass. I would like to eventually have like a center rose garden one day. But from here all the way around the air conditioning unit, I'm going to have a garden. And I'm going to be planting a tree here. And I'm thinking a sweet bay magnolia for here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do here yet as far as the garden goes, but it's going to be beautiful. <laughs> And then, walking over to the other side of the house, I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to install an arch here, an arbor here. And I'll probably have like rose vines growing on them to enter into the secret garden. <laughs> I gotta be careful. So, this is our property line right here. You can see it right here. So starting right here, I'm going to install another, um, let me back up. <clears throat> right here, I'm going to install another arbor going out. That way Ernie has access to take care of this property back here because um, we have to maintain all the way on the hillside. And then in the front of um, all of the trees, I'm going to have a garden. So it'll probably be like wavy, you know, with some points of interest in it, with all kinds of yummy plants. Super excited about that. So that is my plan. And then, of course, um, we're going to install a shade here up above here to pull down so that we have privacy from this window until my green fence grows in. Um, but it'll be nice to have that. And that's going to go in the garage. We're going to put out some nice patio furniture and um, barbecue and all of that. But for now, this is what I am starting with. Tomorrow is sod day and I cannot wait to see green sod back here. I've been living with weeds and mowing weeds for months now <laughs> and I'm over it. Anyways, that is the update. I'll let you guys, well, I'll show you guys what the sod looks like tomorrow.
Okay guys, that is a wrap for part one of this backyard makeover. I think that it looks beautiful. I have so much inspiration now. <laughs> I just have so much life in me and I'm just so excited to get this backyard looking like a garden, not just grass and trees. Although, I am going to take a moment and really enjoy the green for now because I've been staring at weeds and nothing else <laughs> since January. So I couldn't be more thrilled with how everything came out. Brandon was an absolute gem. Him and his crew, he brought out a 15 and a 16 year old today and they busted their butts and they got it done and it looks really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Sorry for the dark glasses. <laughs> you guys know the drill with those. But I'm looking forward to sharing the whole process with you guys and just continuing to share this garden as it evolves. I hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you in the next video. Bye.